Hello, hello, hello. Dirty trucking again. Had to change clothes. Get ready to step out real quick, but I'm coming right back. Um, while I'm, you, you see how upset I was in the other video. That's what those people do. When they do that shit, and I see that shit, and I peep that this shit is a game, and the reason I'm in this situation I'm in, or or financial situation I'm in, because of some goddamn game they've been playing. And it pisses me off. Well, while I'm ranting on about the game, let me tell you about the other game that I peeped. I peeped this years ago that they've been doing here. I call it the trash game. And I peeped this years ago. And it just recently happened with a uh, receipt that I threw away at a Myers. See, the trash game here, what they do is, if you throw something away, like a receipt, or, or, or a letter or something that you got taken care of or something that you just didn't think you needed to keep. All of a sudden, whatever it is you threw away has become your problem. And now, you done threw it away. All of a sudden, you getting some, some communication from somebody wanting you to prove that you had, but you just threw it away. That's the game they play. They wait till you throw it away and then turn around and want you to prove you have it. And to prove to you that it is still going on here and it's been going on. I peeped this shit years ago. It's a trash game. Uh, that is, most don't know. If the shit hit the trash, they, they go through the trash. They're going through my trash. And they take stuff out the trash. It could be, a, I mean, they so dirty. It could be a feminine hygiene product that I use. And come back here and, and smear something on the wall or put something on my, my, my sheets. I kid you not. That's how dirty they is. Because I don't know if you notice or not. Once it hit the trash, it's no longer your property. But what they've been doing here is going through my trash. And I know it. Let me prove to you. What I'm talking about, let me give you a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Been a big news story here, twice happened. Myers. I don't know how the fuck this happened, but Myers, the first news story, they had been double charged of people. It was a news story that came out, told everybody to check their account, they were being double charged. Now, and it wasn't just a specific Myers. It, it, it happened at a Myers on Jefferson, where I went to, that wasn't even mentioned in the news. Wasn't as one of the locations in the news. So, had not saw that news story, uh, that's what prompted me to check. And sure enough, it did. Let me tell you what happened that day. I went in there to go shopping. Rang up some items. Came to, I think it was like $38 or something. I actually swiped the debit card, put in my PIN number. The guy that works there comes over there and tells me, uh, you can't use your debit card here. I said, why not? This says a debit card machine. That's why I came over here, the debit card machine. He said, no, there was a storm early and our, our system is down and we're not able to use it. You have to get cash. So, and I'm looking down there and I communicated this to people coming up there and the majority of them that didn't have the cash or, or, or didn't want to go to the ATM, they was leaving their purchases right there and walking out the damn store. So, there was an ATM in there. So, I got over there in line like everybody else. I took out forty dollars. Went back over there to finish the purchase. The guy come back, bring it back up. I paid cash for it. Walked out. Ain't think nothing was wrong. He told me the debit card wasn't working on there. The system was down. That's what he told me. But evidently it was. The news story came out immediately after that. Immediately. It was like in a matter of days. There's a news story about it. They were double charging people. So I checked. Sure enough, they did. Now, you know, the bank, you know, they got the little messaging center in there. And, and I photographed the receipt and sent it and every damn thing. You know, they credited the money back. They already aware of it. All this, you know, this, this lovely business talk they talking. Ain't thinking nothing of it. Now, pay attention to what I say. That's why I call it the trash game. Now, that receipt, now I done photographed it. I done called the bank, actually spoke to one of their representatives. Can't, and I can remember it distinctly. This is an African guy. 
I told him I went to Myers. I was one of those customers who got double charged. I actually sent in a receipt through your messaging center. Would you like me to send it, the receipt again? I actually went into that Myers and they gave me an 800 number for their patrons to call. I mean, for if you need to contact the Myers who's handling part of the corporate that's handling that. I actually relayed that, communicated that to the African guy who answered on behalf of Chase Bank as a representative to handle my account transaction. So he said, no, I don't need that. We're already aware of it. And uh, he credited the $38, back, $38 and change back to my account. Now, I ain't thinking nothing of it. Nothing of it. Now, I can't tell you how long after, before, you am going through cleaning out my purse, got loose paper in there. The receipt been in there so long that you can't even tell it's a receipt anymore. You can barely see it was what market it was from. I tossed it out. Remember that part. I tossed it out. I threw it away. Now watch what happened. Watch, listen to what I say after that. Now remember, I say I just threw it away. Now, I wake up one morning, getting ready to go to work. Went to get an Uber, looked at my account. Hey, they done took $38 and something back out my account. Now I already knew immediately what that was. I mean, what, is, what, is, what is this? What's, what the fuck? Man, that's Myers double charged me. What are you doing? Taking it back out. They double charged me. I swiped my card and I actually paid cash. And I sent in a receipt showing that I paid cash for that exact amount. Okay. Now, I'm on the phone with Chase. I get a representative on the phone. Oh, now, let me show you where the game came in at. I said, I sent in a receipt. Don't y'all check y'all messaging center? She said, we don't. Have the see this the game they playing around here. They saying specific shit. And this game, I believe, is related to something else. I believe this shit is related to what the fuck happened to me at Warren Truck Plat. I'm just gonna put that shit out there. Because the shit they saying, the specific words they using, all trickles back to the shit that happened there. She gonna tell me, but, but, we don't have the documents. What fucking documents? They overcharged me. They took the money off the card when he told me it wasn't working. And I ended up getting out of line, going to the ATM, taking out $40. And they can check that the ATM was actually inside that supermarket right there on Jefferson. I took out $40 of paid cash. When I seen this news story, I contacted the bank. Why did you take it back out? Uh, talk about we don't have the documents. Wait a minute, this has been the biggest news story all over the city of Detroit. Really, I ain't got to give you no damn documents. You see, it's a double charge for the same amount. No, you see, it's a charge on there for an amount that I sent in proof as a receipt. Let me tell you what she said. This is where the game come in. This is where they like to make shit disappear. That's why I call it the trash game. If you throw the shit away, shit start disappearing. What you send in is proof. It, I'm like, who the fuck is watching me that damn tough that you knew I just threw the goddamn fucking receipt away? This been going on for years. And they need to put a stop to this motherfucking shit. Because I ain't dumb. I ain't stupid. I ain't crazy like Warren Truck like to portray. What it is, I done found out what the fuck y'all been doing. That I'm thinking some normal natural occurrences is a coincidence. This was being deliberately done by individuals on purpose. That's been following me to fuck around and watching me. Probably all in my cell phone. That's probably why my blink camera ain't working right. Because you're in my cell phone controlling every goddamn thing. You're reading my text messages. You read, you looking at my videos, you be on my, my YouTube page sending stupid ass messages and shit like trying to set me up to catch me in something. I done peeped all that goddamn shit. Okay, let me get back to the damn story. Now, she tell me, we don't have the documents. I said, I sent it through the messaging center. I sent a copy of the receipt in through the messaging center. You know what she tell me? We don't see the receipt. So, Instead of getting more angry than I was, now I'm at work. I had to go to the bank. I went into the bank. I got her on the phone the whole time I'm pulling up to the bank. I said, you better tell me the goddamn truth right fucking now before I walk inside this goddamn bank. I said, too late. Click. Hung up from her because I was tired of hearing her lies. 
I said, but before I hung up with her, I said, how would you like it if I contact the news and tell them how my bank sit up there, knew this was the biggest story in the city of Detroit, and then you took that money back from me, and I sent in proof, but now you telling me you ain't got the proof. How did my proof disappear off your site? This is supposed to be a secure bank messaging site. Disappeared. So I'm in the bank. The woman gets, I'm in the office. Uh, she contacts the uh, center. Uh, they telling her pretty much the same thing. Uh, talk about some documents. I told her I sent it in. I sent a message in. Explained that I was one of the customers. What the amount was. And that I actually sent in a picture. So she gets uh, somebody that's over her to come in. A guy, he comes in. So do you have a message? Yeah. I said, I logged in on the bank's message. The bank's message site. So, okay, we can get somewhere with this. So, oh, I said, yeah, that's right. I'm, I logged in. So it's still there. It didn't get in. But before all this happened, this this around the time, my phone mysteriously got hacked. And all my shit got deleted. Right when people was ripping me off with money. Alden Towers did. Took my security deposit. Yeah. Took my security deposit. With my old lease that I was under, that was ending, was on my phone. My phone got hacked. All my shit got erased. Then they started giving me this bullshit about, I supposed to did this and this and this, and that's why they charged me all this shit. It took my security deposit. But I ain't done with that on that. That's a whole nother different story. But back to this shit. She tell my documents this bit. Okay, I got it. I'm not logging in. I'm logging in. He's standing there looking. I find the message. That's the what date was it? What round I forgot when it, because that was a couple of months back. You waited a couple of months. You waited to rat after I threw that motherfucking receipt in the garbage. Then all of a sudden that happened. I be down. So I said, okay, I got the message. I log in to my bank thing. I found it. There it is. He's reading the message. Ah, there it is. Look at that. Say attachment. I click on, watch this shit. I click on attachment. What it say? Can't open file. Now, this is after my phone has been restored that I sent this message. So it shouldn't have been part of nothing corrupted or, or deleted or anything. This is on the bank secure website. I can delete the, the damn receipt off my phone pictures, but it'll still be on the attachment because it's on the bank's secure messaging site. Well, what my phone tell me? You can open the file. So, what the fuck? So I click on something else, another way to try to open it, uh, PDF. Now it's telling me the file is corrupt. I'm standing there, I'm sitting there in the, in the Chase Bank. And I'm telling this guy, I said, now it's saying it's corrupt, a corrupt file. This is the attachment right here. This is the message. You see the date. So I called that, tell the lady on the on that's talking to the representative on the phone. I said, tell her to check the date. The, mess, the message was sent this date at this time. Well, you see the message? Click on the attachment. You know what she tells me? Wow. They on the phone. This head man of Chase Bank is in the office with the representative that's helping me in physically inside the Chase Bank. You know what they tell me? Tell her on the phone? And she related to me? No, they handed me the phone. She said, I don't see the message. What? She don't see the fucking message. I'm looking at a message on my phone that has the date when it was sent, showing an attachment, and this representative on Chase End over the phone tells me, in their office, in the presence of the head people there, and the representative inside the bank, she don't even see the message. That's bullshit. How can I pull it up on my bank site when I log in, but you don't see it on the bank end, and you at the bank? Did you catch it? I threw the receipt away. All of a sudden, they took the money out of my account and then told me I had to prove, give them proof that I gave, I had already given them, and then the proof that I gave them fucking disappeared. That's what I call a trash game around here. Not only you got a gambling game, you got a trash game. You going in my trash. You're a dirty individual. That's why I'm talking about you on my show, Dirty Trucking. Because you're doing some dirty shit here. And it's time for this dirty ass shit to be exposed. Because I'm sick of you digging around in my motherfucking trash and causing me problems. 
You done took all my goddamn money. Try to make me look like I was irresponsible. This shit was because of these people here and this motherfucking game they got going on. I'm sick of it. So, I'm talking about it. That's what I call a trash game. That's why they tell you to keep your receipts, don't throw nothing away. There was a reason for that. It's the trash game. Because if you do, if somebody watching you, they done made a way to get income. Money. Off of people throwing away receipts and shit. Uh, anything that's, that, that's dealing with getting money. They found a way to make get money off you for it. They make it look like you didn't get it straightened out or it wasn't fixed or, or, or you didn't have proof. Then you end up paying that shit all over again. Or they charge you more money. It's the trash game they got going on here. That one been going on for years. And I don't understand how we got all these senators here, these political leaders here, all this bullshit going on that I'm seeing that they doing to me. Why? I don't know. Why the fuck did you pick me? I catch everything. I see everything. I know what you're doing. I've been talking about this shit for years. Wasn't just on YouTube. I've been on social media for years telling you about this strange ass shit I've been seeing. You know, all these politics and these leaders around here. And y'all just letting this shit go on. I complain. Don't nobody do shit. And it just continues to get worse. Now, because of the pandemic, this motherfucker done broke wide. You got an organized criminal operation going on here. That they stealing money left and right through the internet. They got individuals that's going around. Switching shit. Oh yeah, when I oh yeah, about my court case. One of those documents I read. That shit ain't the original. When that shit disappeared out of my apartment, they changed it and then put it back in there to make it look like it was original. Cause I remember what I read. That's not it. My family photos disappearing. You taking specific pictures. It ain't just any picture. You taking specific pictures. You took a picture that I took of my house on Beaconsfield. I haven't found the picture of my Grand Am. I had a money green Grand Am. A picture of it I took in front of a family friend's house off a, a street that's off a of six mile. That picture, I ain't seen it. Picture of my father came up missing. This picture came up missing when I was still working at Chrysler, I went on a cruise with a coworker and two of her friends. I had a picture, pretty ass picture, of me at the captain's wheel. Motherfucker walked up out of my house. That's when I was at Chrysler. That's when I started noticing shit coming up missing out of my house. Then I started getting these letters uh, with weird sayings on it. I remember when that shit happened to me at Chrysler, I tried to go back to Smart. And the strangest letter I got in the mail, it read, we didn't, we don't need you. Who the hell sent a letter like that? I used to work there. I gave you six years. What the fuck you mean you don't need me? We don't need you. Like they already heard what happened to me at Chrysler. This, this is right after what happened to me at Chrysler. I thought, sure, I can go back to smart. We don't need you. Then they tried to enforce their policy about we don't hire uh, previous drivers. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> I know for a fact that's a lie. But that's what they did. And then when I called down to find out why I would get a letter to say something like that, she said, do you still have a letter? No, I don't have a letter. It's gone. I, I tore it up. I was so enraged when I seen it. Six years is smart. Ex excellent bus driver, professional. You send me some shit to say, we don't need you. What the fuck? See, Warren Truckman convinced everybody I'm supposed to be some crazy nut. Now, what you doing is trying to convince people I'm crazy because you know I done found out what the fuck you've been doing and what's been going on around here. And I'm telling it. No, I ain't crazy. But I can't believe these, these political people, the, the FBI, computer crimes, law enforcement. Some of this shit is involving law enforcement. You, you think some ordinary person could pull this shit off? Somebody was some high rank. 
with some clout. There ain't no ordinary people doing this shit. But you a pin this shit on somebody ordinary. Oh, there's a whole lot of shit going on around here. And I don't understand why ain't nobody doing nothing about it. But you just keep doing the shit to me. You just won't stop doing the shit to me. How broke do I got to get? How much fucking debt you gonna cause? How angry you gonna fucking make me? Then walking around trying to play matchmaker. You out of fucking line. Because what I'm going to do is say you trafficking. You in the business of my personal relationships. And you ain't got no business being in it. Hey, what are you doing? You don't play matchmaker with me. Find a mate for me. It's your motherfucking job. But that's what they've been doing. All kind of bullshit going on right here. You trying to make it sound like I was crazy. And now I'm angry. And I'm pissed off that this shit been going on right up under everybody fucking nose. Happened to me and trucking crossing the road. They was doing it out of state. Oh, let me tell you something. What I heard the lady say in the casino. Uh, see, this is what they do. They got the, the people that's involved in it. They like to walk around and say shit when they around you. That's how I know who they is. I could, I could pretty much peep. If I go somewhere, I could pretty much pinpoint. Which one of these individuals is involved with doing this shit? Because they, they let themselves be known. It, it's impossible for them not to let themselves be known. Because they're going to do something stupid, say something stupid, or they're going to start doing this, this, fucking with you some kind of way. To let you know, they one of them. I, I pinpoint them out immediately. Let me tell you what she said when I walked in. I'm in there. I said, where are you going now? What do you mean where I'm going now? Like she already knew I'm finna get pissed off, something going on. All of them watching me in the casino, security in there, wanna check my bag. Why is you checking my fucking bag and you ain't checking nobody else's goddamn bag? You ain't doing nobody else like that. You wanna see it in my bag specifically. And your casino ain't worth me coming in there being postal. What the fuck? I'm trying to get an investigation going on there. You think of somebody gonna come up in there and be postal and shit, checking all them. Let me point, let me see and open that up. Motherfucker, what? They had stopped that shit. Oh, but when I come in there, they got to see the bag. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a whole lot of shit going on. I can't believe this. The president, the United States, you got the CIA, the FBI, all these law enforcement agencies. Senators, the government involved, directly involved. Ain't nobody putting a stop to it. I ain't doing this shit to myself. I'm not getting documents and have the capability of changing them and putting them back and then get on here and complain about somebody changed my shit. There's somebody else doing that. You took my personal family photos. And you've been taking my photos for years. Why are you taking my pictures? Are you trying to beat me? You trying to copy me? Am I do some money some damn where? And you trying to get it before me? Trying to act like me? You want to be me? Thank you, me? Taking my shit? What the fuck? What's going on around here? I just wanted to make this video about the trash game. I ain't the only one they done done this shit to. Coming in here noticing shit. Done where you done dug in the damn garbage. Dirty ass bastard. It's dirty trucking out.